Hi guys, Ryu here with Naravit for Blender and this one we're going to be texturing this trim sheet in Quixel Mixer. I just wanted to quickly show you uh, the trim sheet. If you would like to learn how to model it, we're actually going to have a full-on course on how to model this trim sheet on our Patreon for the Tier 3 on April. Uh, feel free to join and check us out. There's a lot of cool perks over there. And also tier one, two, and three gonna receive this trim sheet ready to go with a Deagle machine. You can start using it for your models. And I'm gonna show you now how to texture it. So it's gonna be actually um, consistent in terms of texturing with all other trim sheets. This one is titled Trim Sheet 11 because that's 11th trim sheet created by Blender Bros. We got seven created with a new course. And then we got uh, trim sheet eight and nine uh, created uh, for the uh, uh, trim sheet pack, and also which also comes with the trim sheet seven bonus features, which were removed from the uh, uh, trim sheet course. And it was an early bird bonus, and was available only for a few days, and then we removed it, but we then added it back with a new pack, so you can still get it if you want to. Uh, then trim sheet. Uh, 10 was the uh, trim sheet that we dropped on Patreon on March. And so this one is trim sheet 11. So anyway, guys, let's uh, hop into a uh, quick slow mixer and I'll show you how to texture this bugger. All right, so we're gonna add the project and we're gonna title it trim 11 and add a new mix and also trim 11 or T11. In fact, with a dash, so it's easy to see. 4K, that's fine. Cool. And now we need all the maps. So I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to load all the maps. So I need the um, uh, normal map. I need my occlusion map. Uh, occlusion map. I need my curvature map. And my material ID map. Okay then. So now let's hop into texturing. So we're going to go to local library and we're going to start with smart mods. So I'm going to click here on smart mods and I'm going to grab this one, which is usually uh, the base mod I'm using for everything. And I'm going to apply it to everything, which is fine. Mostly I want it for my background. Uh, so if I actually uh, go here and click on ID map and press Q, I can now hold Q and sort of choose which areas I want this mod to be added to. I want it to be added to red parts because this is my base, uh, sort of like a base layer, which I want to keep consistent with all other, other trim sheets. Uh, so then, you know, I can easily um, use other trim sheets with this one on one model and it's going to look consistent. So. Uh, if you have all the 11 trim sheets from Blender Bros, then you know that's a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities and options to texture with. So anyway, let's leave this one like that and go to the library again. Now let's try this one. This one is a really cool one. I really like this map. Maybe it's a bit heavy on scratches, but it's really badass. So I'm gonna add some uh, mask in here. ID mask and hold Q and let's think where we could add this one. Maybe on the pipes, maybe I'm not sure, but it kind of looks cool. So maybe even the pipes and somewhere else. How about here? No, I don't think so. Control Z. I think maybe that's it. Maybe just the pipes. So let's go back to local library and let's grab the, I think it was aluminum. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one is really cool. This one is also from for like um, you know this kind of a paneling. There's not many features like very strong scratches, so it's it kind of blends really well. Even if you run it through end guns, I I have a, I think a video on my YouTube channel where I'm talking about you know adding trim sheets to end guns. We have uh, this pack. Uh, trim sheets uh, 8 and 9 in the um, trim sheet pack um, they both actually created for uh, specifically that reason to you know texture areas that are very difficult to texture uh, so normally when you apply um, trim sheets you need you need quads you need like strips of quads preferably even so uh, they kind of you know stretch around a quad strip 
But if you have Angons, it's going to have problems. So these were created specifically for running stuff through Angons. So let's go to Mask and, you know, edit in here. I want it actually everywhere here, to be honest. Sometimes, you know, Quicksilver Mixer has problem with adding mods, you see. I'm adding here, it doesn't work for some weird reason. So what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to uncheck these, okay? And I'm going to actually invert it. And when you invert it, it's going to add everywhere. So now you can remove it from areas that, you know, kind of... You don't need it on, right? Quicksilver Mixer, I've noticed there's a problem with actually, um, you know, certain IDs uh, or certain hex colors, which is kind of weird. I think they should look into this, um, but I've noticed it several times. So this is a walk around, you know, this how you can, you know, kind of fix this. Now, I wanted to make sure that this matches as well. So I need to find this. Uh, that's the one. Okay, cool. Maybe this one as well here could be, that's the one, add some other mod to it. So we're gonna grab, um, go to local library and um, maybe let's see this slightly worn aluminum. There you go. And let's just, you know, add the mask. And I wanna add it to these bolts here, the little bolts and Maybe this rim outside here. I don't know if it actually fits. Maybe not. Maybe here. Hmm. This could be probably better if it was dark. I'm going to add it in here. And I'm going to add it in here. That's cool. This one as well could be actually silver. That's cool. And maybe this one as well here, you know. See, now this one doesn't work again. Which is funny. So we're gonna have to go around with this um, invert method, right? So, also this one should be the same color as this one, I, I suppose. So we're gonna go back here to aluminium and go to ID. I need to find this spot. There we go, that's the one. I'm not sure about this pipe being yellow though. Although it kind of does look cool, to be honest. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, now we're going to go here and add some gunmetal. So, this one is really cool. And I'm going to add it to the sides here. It's really black, so let's see how we're going to go. So, press Q, hold Q, and add here. It's going to be one, and maybe here as well. That's two. And I think uh, I'm good. Now, I can't add it to this one, which is really annoying. So, what I actually might do is, you know, invert it, right? So, do something like this and just simply click all of them to invert it. I'm going to keep this uh, gun metal here on this part in here. So, let's just see where it is. I think it's somewhere here. There we go. This, this is the one and just drop it on every single other bit so this one as well needs to be gun metal there you go let's see this okay perfect now we still need these so just hold q and click here and it's done and i think we're good i think we're good we also need some mud in here, so we can just add it in here as well. So it's going to stand out. Now, if you wanted to, you could, for example, add some effects on top of it. So, for example, you could go to library and go to heavy rust or something. And let's grab this one. Now, it's also got added in here, which is something I don't like. So, hang on a second. Let me just remove it from here. So, let's go to gunmetal. Uh... Let's remove it from here. There we go. That's better. Cool. Perfect. Right. Now let's go to Heavy Rust. Turn it on. Now what you can do with this one, you can, you know, uh, use some kind of masks, right? So we could go here to Masks. And go to, um, go to Mask Component and add the map. And we could actually use a layer map. And grab, for example, AO. And let's change the range here. 
and let's change let's choose AO of the base uh, of the base mesh so base layer AO right and now we can adjust what how the rust is gonna be you know affecting the image so you can for example fade it in and you can also press 1 uh, sorry uh, 9 to preview the mask right there you go so we can have it only in you know in specific areas right remember the black conceals and the white reveals so there you go press one and now you're gonna have a bit of a rust in corners you know like in these crevices right which is pretty cool what you can do with this mask in for example inverted right so now uh, you see the rust's gonna gather in sort of uh, these tiny areas so that's pretty cool let me see that You see, you're gonna get this kind of get rusty dirt in there, and like I said, you can adjust it, you know, so you can, you know, make it um, more pronounced or less pronounced, right? It's up to you. I don't want to make it too heavy, I want to make it kind of, you know, rusty dusty, but that's cool. Okay, guys, I think that's it basically. You know, you can keep playing with the layers and keep stacking effects, you can change colors if you want to. So, for instance, you can go to uh, let's see this aluminium layer right and you could go to uh, aluminium and you could play with colors uh, you know change roughness everything you want so uh, you can do a lot of uh, introduce a lot of changes in here and it's really customizable you can stack effects etc so but this is a very basic intro to you know uh, to how to add textures in quicksilver mixer it's really easy now this thing is ready to be exported to Blender, so you can actually use all the maps from a Quixel Mixer uh, in Decal Machine to trim it and create a trim sheet. Now the way you export maps, right, you just click here on export, and what you need is albedo, of course, because it's a color, right? You don't need diffuse, you don't need specular, you don't need gloss, you don't need, you need roughness, you need... Um, you need normal, you don't need displacement, you need AO, and also you need metalness, okay? So these are the maps you need, and uh, you can further adjust them if you want to. Uh, so you can, you know, change some settings in here if you want to. But that's basically it. And here on the top, you can select the folder where you want it to be exported. In my case, it's going to be desktop, so uh, simply export maps. And that's it, you're done. So now your maps are ready to be imported to Blender to Decal Machine and you can start trimming, trimming the stream sheet in Decal Machine so it's going to be ready to use. And that's it guys for the video, very quick one. Like I said, this trim sheet is going to be available on Patreon on April, which is going to be in two days. And the tutorial on how to create this uh, uh, trim sheet from scratch to finish is going to be also available for tier 3 on April. So if you're interested hop on and have a look it's gonna be an add-on tutorial there's gonna be also another toot uh, for vanilla users so interesting stuff coming on april thank you for watching catch you next video